This is a 36-year-old female with a history of waxing and waning upper and lower extremity paresthesia as a weakness of many years' duration. The images demonstrate numerous T2 flare hyperintense lesions within both the supracellar and infratentorial compartments, as well as the cervical and upper thoracic spinal region. There are ovoid lesions which involve the undersurface of the body and splenium of the corpus callosum, as well as the juxtacortical, periventricular, and deep white matter of both the supra- and infratentorial compartments. The supratentorial lesions are oriented perpendicular to the longitudinal axes of the lateral ventricles, and some of the lesions extend to involve the colossus septal interface. On the axial T2-weighted image, the lesion involving the left parietal centrum semiovale appears as a hole in the white matter. There are numerous lesions in the cervical and upper thoracic spinal regions. Given the state of clinical history and age of the patient, the findings are most consistent with the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. The differential diagnosis includes acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, neuromyelitis optica, and autoimmune-mediated vasculitis. Multiple sclerosis is the most common dis disabling CNS disease of young adults, affecting up to 2.5 million people worldwide. Peak age of onset is 30, with a female-to-male ratio of 2 to 1. 85% of lesions are periventricular or perivanular, and the majority of the lesions involve the colossal septal interface.